Cynthia baby, Cynthia baby. They tried you, they tried to play you, they tried to obviously undermine you, your integrity, your morals and your values and they have failed you completely. They are the laughing stock. If anything, this is a massive day for you so that you can move on from these waste men, these clowns, these fools, these nonsense, barbaric, just antelopes. You can really just discard them and focus on your life. That's what you need to be doing because Aaron, I don't know what game you're playing. Uh, I don't know what you're doing with your dead hair. I don't know what you're doing with them. Let me not even just, let me I feel like people just have no shame. They have no home training. That's the key word for today. They have no home training. There's just, there's nothing there. It's non-existent. It just, it's dissolved. It does not even exist in their entirety of their lives. They are these two having sex? What the hell is going on here? Jesus. Wow, this is too much. Anyways, they just, they have no home training, you know? There's, there's no home training. They've really now gone into their minds and they've said to themselves, I'm going to go on a reality TV show. Somebody likes me, I'm gonna fake it with them throughout the duration of the weeks and weeks and weeks. And then when it's ended, I'm out. And I'm only using you to get to this place because this theory in my mind will help me to be a relevant star, will help me to be a big star, will be on Hollywood, I'll be an A-list celeb, I'll be, I'll be securing deals, everything. Because the, that's the, the, the theory in your head. The delusion, the delusion, the delusion, the delusion. But like, let me just close these damn curtains because these two are not stopping, Jesus Christ. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? I swear to God, I'm always right. I feel like a lot. Shut up. It's in peace in my relationship. I feel like this guy's fake. I'm sorry, guys. Something about this guy. I don't know what it is, but something about him is just. Ah. Uh, it's just an absolute shame. But are we surprised? Are we really surprised? Hey guys, it's Moral Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to my channel for daily and consistent content. Hit me up on my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali. Head over there, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button, you won't regret it. And the notifications bell, and let's get into this video. So now Cynthia and Aaron, who actually came third on Love Island, have you know announced that they have split just after you know recent claims that Aaron has been using her for the reality TV kind of fame and I just find it to be so ridiculous and just so flipping cathartic I just find it to be so annoying it just highlights how fake these shows are especially when we're at that episode you know when the parents were uniting with the you know the contestants and Aaron was like oh what do you guys think of her what do you guys think of her and then you know the guys are like, what do you guys think of her and the girls are like what do you guys think of him and the parents are loving the other person it's all just fake forced BS and I find it quite irritating and this Aaron like you can just feel it in your soul in you you can just feel it in, in the vim in here you can feel it in here that somebody is really just trying to play you trying to be fake cynthia baby cynthia baby the way you have been played is quite mad but i'm not entirely mad because you got to be third and i feel like you know it's boosted your, your relevancy on the show as well but at the same time i feel like cynthia was in there for genuinity and unfortunately she did not find it Love Island Australia star Cynthia Taylor has split from Aaron Shaw 27. The 23 year old shared the news in a lengthy Instagram post on Friday where she revealed it has been a very draining and emotional time. It comes after co-stars Luke Packham and Cassie Lansdale claimed that Aaron was just using Cynthia to win the series. Well, clearly he definitely was. The Brisbane based model went on to say that while she stayed true to herself during the Love Island experience, at times she couldn't make sense of things. As you've all probably noticed, Aaron and I are no longer together, she penned. I ask you all to please be respectful of me during this time. It's been a very draining and emotional time, but I'm looking forward to the future. Aaron is yet to comment publicly on the split. Cynthia has not only unfollowed him, but also deleted the photos of the pair together. Damn, you know, Cynthia does not play. Cynthia, baby, she does not play indeed. It comes after their co stars Luke and Cassie basically claimed that Aaron was just using fan favorite Cynthia to win the series. He was really keen on the blondes. I don't think they really gave him a chance. He saw that Cynthia took a liking so he went straight over there. Cassie26 agreed, revealing she doesn't think Aaron is the guy for her. Aaron starred on Channel 7's short-lived, short-lived is the key word here, dating series The Proposal. He got engaged to hairdresser Selena Shaw on the show, but the pair broke up shortly after filming. Aaron is currently listed as an actor, extra model, and influencer on his star now profile. Looking like an absolute clown with these damn curls um, in, this, in this picture. 
and I just feel like he just looked like an absolute mess. I wasn't really feeling him at all. So it seems that he surely wants to break up after the filming is done. This guy is just desperate for the fame, desperate for the coin, desperate for that quick little, you know, relevancy. And like we can see through you. Like I, I already felt it. I already knew it from the day that they were even together. They were kissing everything. I was happy for Cynthia. By the same time, in my backbone, I feel like something is just going weird here. Especially in the finale, I could just tell something when Aaron did not sit right with me. Aaron, you're a clown. You're just, you're just a clown. You're just a clown. This is what you are. Now, I think I've expressed before in one of my videos, but Cynthia has reached out to me personally speaking, and she's, you know, she's been very thankful for all the support when I was obviously reviewing Love Island Australia intimately here and there, and she was very grateful for it. Um, so, you know, she has reached out to me in that regard. So she, she does watch my videos. She has seen my reviews. I'm pretty sure a lot of these Love Island, you know, Australian stars apparently have also seen them as well. So whatever, cool, I don't really care. Um, cute. Um, but at the same time, are we really surprised when it comes to this situation? Are we really surprised how many times it's going to take place how many times are we going to keep seeing this yes my girl Cynthia made it to the final she came third I'm very happy that she did I feel like she did it on her own accord because she was a fan favorite on her own accord but this situation is very sad apparently Aaron's you know been taking the mick and in comments with replying about how he's going to the family or whatever when they know they're broken up something like this somebody was commenting I read it I was skimming through comments of some stuff so apparently he's kind of taking the piss here and there as well I think allegedly so I you know he even think that now Cynthia, now let's be forget this wasn't the first guy that tried to play Cynthia it was also somebody else as well so it seems this is a recurring narrative pattern that a lot of people actually understand and know where they feel people going in oh I'm gonna try and lynch and stay and attach myself to a dark skin individual on the show because they were obviously proved to be a popular fan favorite. So therefore I will associate myself with them, leech all of that and then leave them and discard them. And we've seen this taking place. It's a reoccurring pattern now. This is why I also find that to be very interesting. And I find that to be, I can even do like an in-depth analysis on that because I, people seem to, they, they think they know what people like in terms of the public and stratosphere, what's popular. They lynch themselves on it then they discard and they go away and they think it's, it's worked for them. And I just think it's just an absolute shame. But like, let me just close these damn curtains because these two are not stopping. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this video. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. I'd really appreciate it. Get, get in the comments below. Let's start a discussion. Unfortunately, our girl Cynthia was played. Cynthia, baby. Cynthia Baby was played, unfortunately, and you know, it's just a damn shame. And hopefully she'll find somebody, you know, far more better for her, better suited for her, better catered for her, somebody who's honest and truthful. And hopefully, you know, we just don't see these real carrying patterns with Winter Love Island and you know other kind of dating shows and popular shows that we just hopefully we don't. Let me know your thoughts are please do subscribe and click that button for daily and consistent content please. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Head over to my Instagram Murad underscore Murali. Head over there as well. Click that button guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.